Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's keeping safe, keeping well. It's a very, very hot day today. More dry weather. It's, it's a little worrying, if I'm honest. The crops out in the field are struggling. These, uh, these drought conditions are not good. It's going to have a massive impact on yield. Um, but it's just, just the way it's, it's gone this year. After that very wet autumn, it's sort of uh, gone, gone the other way now. Anyway, this morning I am going to give the uh, 8 Series, the John Deere 8270, a bit of a wash down. Um, I took a load of straw, the last uh, bit of muck from Lamb and Time, over to Farm 2 this morning, tipped that off. I've uh, just taken the trailer off now uh, when I got back. Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, get the airline running, get the back end a bit of a blow down and then get the washer out and uh, give her a bit of a birthday. If you look up on the back window here, there's a lot of hydraulic oil on there that he's washing off. Uh, the green trailer you've seen me use before for tipping off brash and, and muck and stuff. Uh, it's got a bit of a leak on the ram, so when you're tipping it, when it gets about halfway, it just psh, shoots out a load of oil. So, um, yeah, annoyingly, I had it, the tractor had a bit of an angle and it just caught the back window a few days ago. So, yeah, uh, that needs washing off. But I'm paying particular attention to the back end here. Um, I'll just sort of do a, do a bit of a once over. Um, as well around around the rest of the tractor. Scrubs up well. Uh, I've still got the interior to do. Cap could do a bit of a hoover out. Um, I'm going to do that another day um, when I bring it into the workshop. It's soon going to be due a service, oil change, and uh, a grease up. So I'll bring it into the workshop in a couple of days and uh, yeah, give it a bit of a service up. So me and Dad are just heading up uh, to the wheat to see what's going on. See what's going on. See what's going on. Yeah. I, I think it's very, very dry. I don't think we're going to be disappointed in uh, having these crops low. The, the yield has definitely been impacted. More rubbish being tipped. Yeah, more rubbish. But what we've got, this is interesting here, this is cultivated land. Here. This was cultivated on land. The other side of the, the hedge there is direct drilled into stubble. Yep, that was direct drilled there. Yep. Now that looked yep. terrible as soon as we drilled it. Oh, just after we drilled it. Well, terrible. It didn't look as good. That looked... No, it didn't actually, in fairness, but it's well, direct drilling always does a bit. It, it always looks a bit iffy at the beginning. But I can tell you, I think the direct drilling is better. Yeah. We cultivated, if you remember, cultivated for winter drilling, for winter seeding, originally, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, so we were, we were getting ready for that. It didn't happen because of that winter, that autumn. It just never stopped raining. No. So uh, it laid wet all winter in cultivated land, just what you shouldn't do really but it's uh considering it came out quite well yeah yeah but we elected to go straight in with a direct drill into that rather than sort of resurrect the ground that's it yeah yeah but you can see look green yellowy patching there yeah. well, it's a direct drill right into stubble well we'll have a look we'll have a look so at both better, can't yeah. we yeah if i can get the key the world's most awkward gate this is this is yeah. <laughs> 
you know, I think he's feeling a bit like Jack Whitehall's dad. Jack Whitehall's dad? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like him? He's good. Isn't he? I don't actually know his dad. What's he been in? No, but it's, it's all with him, isn't it? Isn't it? Is he? I don't know. He's all like butted his jokes. Right. <laughs> I quite like Jack White. Well, I, I, you know, I like to not like him. Is that makes sense? No, I think he's good. <laughs> but he's dad's funny. <laughs> Expert with spring spring wheat. I don't particularly like it. Well, let's go back. Let's just rewind a, 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 for a minute. The, the plan here. This was cultivated for winter wheat. for a winter wheat crop, yeah. which uh, never got never happened. No. Uh, so this so is... it laid wet, fully cultivated, almost ready to drill. Mm -hmm. We'll go drill it with a Claydon drill, but use the Claydon drill conventionally. Conventionally, yeah. So we've got it pretty much prepared. I, I know you've got to be careful not to get too much prepared in front. But uh, you have to do a bit. Yeah. I think it caught everybody out there, didn't it? It did, yeah. So and then it just went all sad, didn't it? Went all sad. Yeah. We could have re revitalised it, but that would have... Um, we hadn't got the springtime cultivators needed. And I think you would have brought up a load of stuff. It would have dried out. Yeah. I don't think... So we elected to keep it down and just direct drill straight in. And actually, I, I think it's largely worked. Mm -hmm. You had it in by the 20, 20, 22nd of April? Yeah, yeah, 22nd, 23rd. A bit later yeah. than probably optimum. <laughs> yeah. But we were, we just left it and left it so that you, when you did drill, mm -hmm. it was in really good conditions. That's it. They're small, they're spindly. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you come in here, it's just looking a bit sort of thin on the ground, isn't it? It doesn't want a growth regulator, does it? No, it definitely doesn't want that. But what do you think? What's the yield, if you're lucky? Well, spring, a spring crop's never going to yield like a... A winter crop anyway, is it? But well, if, you, if this is a winter crop, you would hope for you'd, three and you'd, a half you'd for, for three. Yeah. And expect three on a, on a good year. And if, if, if it was good, you'd probably be heading towards four tons an acre, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you would. But I don't think you wouldn't bank on four tons. You'd probably bank on three. Yeah, you'll you, you know, except three and a quarter and think you've done fairly well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would say. On sort of March, so look, the, when, when the yield meter hits these bits like this, yeah. Or well, any of it, I, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, we've got some with, uh, with nearly out in here, on here, haven't we, somewhere? Some of the earlier drilled is uh, yeah, coming out in here. Well, yeah. why, don't we it? why don't we go to that, into that field that was direct drilled into stubble? Yeah, 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 that was direct drilled through there. So anyway, it, it's out on it. Now, this was drilled a day or two before. No, this was drilled about two weeks before. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was a big... Oh, sorry. I know it's right next door, but... Okay, right, well, yeah. No, 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 I came in here... No, you did. No, I came in here. No, in fact, that was probably like three weeks before. This was the end of March. Field you, you drilled. This was first of April, maybe even end of March. Actually, you should find that out. Then. Yeah, yeah. This is completely different in here. All out in here. I mean, they're small ears, aren't they? But maybe spring wheat is fairly small. Well, this is a. Uh, well, I'm not very familiar with this variety. I, I know we have done a fair bit of spring cropping in the past, but well, uh, well. <laughs> I sort of contradict myself because I'm not used to it. We have in the last two or three, four, five years simply because of the black grass. That's it. Historically, what? I'm not used to it. Yeah. Well, no, I was I was talking more, more about the variety itself. Yeah. We're not we're really. Oh no, uh, no. In a good year, I mean, from from a, a spring crop like this, you, you probably would expect nearer two and a half, wouldn't you? <laughs> you, 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 yes. You'd hope, hope for three, but not knowing fully well you wouldn't get three. <laughs> <laughs> but you expect it to be more than two, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. But what's interesting here is the fact this was direct drilled. Direct drilled here, yeah. Into stubble. Yeah. Into 2000 and... Well, it had been left fallow a year, this field, hadn't yeah, it? So this yeah. was 18's harvest. Yes, stubble. so it had been stubble. So you can sort of see down there the old stubble, can't you? From 18? Yeah. Yeah, down in here. No moisture, look at that. 
we should have brought a trowel, but I don't think, yeah. I don't think you'd have got down, would you? Well, no. I mean, look, you can see see the cracks down here. But it's all it's all going to thin it's out. It's just dusty and dry. Yeah. That's your sign. Yeah, well, the kids sign. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? They so did. you did it. Yeah, oh, I You're did that. You're down the kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's my masterpiece. You're smart. <laughs> You the mean, paint, the paints run a bit, but mum, mum put a varnish over it. So um, they've been watering for a few weeks. Yeah, it has actually rained on it and smeared yeah, it a little bit. They've done a really good job. They've done a very good really job. Really good job. Yeah. yeah. See, I, there's not sort of. I expect considering so much. I think it's clean. It's a clean crop. Yeah. Tiny little flag, isn't it? It's tiny. Yeah. I think if we get any rain now, it's too little, too late. It is, I think. Yeah. Logic tells you, I said in the yard earlier on, I mean, if you're looking at a four-ton wheat crop, you can tell a four-ton wheat crop, can't you? It's more... It's bulky, it's there. Bunchy, is sitting, that a word? Sitting on their big heads, yeah. big square, yeah, yeah. you know, big square-looking heads. And from the road, it kind of looks like that, but you walk in... Yeah, I and mean, it's a, just... a four-ton crop of wheat, it just it looks at you right, doesn't it? Look at this. I think we've got to go and... Um... Drown our sorrows and just watch all of Blackadder. Blackadder with a pint of bombardier. At least, at, at least, least, least a pint. At least a pint. Probably yeah. a barrel. A barrel yeah. each. To begin with. To begin with. Yeah, we're going to have a look at this barley. So, what variety is this then, Nick? Um, Irena. Irena. Which? Is a molting variety. It is a molting variety. Yeah. Potentially. Malting Potentially yeah. yeah. I've grown molten before. Do you remember I, a long time ago that um, Barry Sosser I tried? Yeah, a few years ago, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Went for molten though. Yeah, it did. The winter, winter. Winter barley, yeah. Best molten barley in the world. Barry yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's doing what it can, but this is an exceptionally stony field, isn't it? This is, Except yeah. Exceptionally limestone. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised around the country that there's some looking worse than this probably i mean but yes really what is it going to yield unless i'm being pessimistic i don't think i am yeah but the grass as well nick people with a lot of grass hey hey yeah. no, it's brown isn't it yeah there's no grass but i noticed um uh on your your cousin wills that um alpha alpha it's lucerne, lucerne. yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a thick row, was it? wasn't it? a thick row, no. That was first cut. Spoke to him again today and he's hoping to get, get back on a second, you know, get, get another cut in, right. a, in about okay. four weeks. But obviously... Um, okay, yeah. So it's, it's not just cropping, it's grass. It's, uh, it's everything. Everything struggles when it's, when it's dry I like think, this. I think this is a bad, bad time all around. I think some parts of the country up north had better waters than we did. They established their winter crops. Well, they? I went up to Scotland in October and yeah. uh, on my way there, as I got further north, yeah, I was surprised at how much um, had, had been done. But down this way... Yeah. yeah. Well, I went on holiday because I wasn't working, because there yeah. wasn't much going on. Well, look, it's... Uh, we're, we're, we're upright. Up to now, we, we haven't got the COVID-19. So we've got to be grateful for that. It's... I'll tell you what, it's a funny year, isn't it? I'll, I'll soon be walking this... Uh, 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 thin crop of barley and being in the hospital bed just trying to get over that absolutely so, absolutely count our blessings yeah. last job of the day uh, just going to move the sheep uh, from this field here um, over to there through the gate they should hopefully follow me with the bag uh, come on uh, come on uh, hey Here they come. There's a few stragglers, I'll just go and get them. Up. Success. Other people's rubbish. It's terrible. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a nice big thumbs up. 2020 is proving to be a bit of a tricky year for one reason or another, as we all know. But I think the main thing is you've got to keep optimistic. 
Um, you're gonna have good years, you're gonna have bad years. You just gotta take the rough with the smooth sometimes. But um, yeah, just the way it goes. I hope everybody's keeping safe and keeping well. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>